hey guys this is just from it's grimoires.com and in this video we'll be looking at some of the top applications that you install on your, your linux system on your chromebook top android apps that you install the first instance you get your your chrome system first on the list is showtime showtime is basically an alternative to to netflix it doesn't necessarily have the greatest that netflix has to offer but it does offer things from like generic shows and allows you to download episodes of your favorite shows so they can so you can watch them offline other features include Showtime's own championship boxing championship game. Downloading the Showtime app is pretty straightforward and it offers a 7 day free trial for $11 a month. And if you head over to the Play Store and search for the, for the application Showtime, basically go ahead and click install and it's a pretty straightforward process. Next on the list is Sketchbook. Considering that there, there has become a proliferation of touch screens in the personal computing space, it is no surprise that we are getting more productivity related applications like Sketchbook. And this is such a welcome move for Chrome enthusiasts like myself and you watching, hopefully. And Sketchbook is one of those applications that really serves the educational sector very well, especially considering that it um it fills in some of the gaps that have been that have been left by the by by lack by an unfortunate lack of professional apps that are well suited to the Chrome operating system. And any any application or functionality that helps close that gap is always welcome and sketchbook is one of them um, I tried it I tried it earlier on and I'm I, I'm hoping that I still have it installed or oh, I don't have it installed anymore so I'm just gonna go ahead and instead of in the Play Store so I can show you what it looks like and the next on the list squid this is squid one I've definitely used several times and I have it installed right now. Please take the time to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. So you can see, Squid is pretty straightforward. The first thing you see, the first card you see is a, straight, a tutorial that basically directs you on how to use it. Um, quite unfortunately, I misplaced my pen. So now I don't have a pen here but it's a pretty intuitive application that is great for note taking i use it for note taking a lot and it's pretty responsive as well and it works just flawlessly as pretty much the majority of applications that are compatible with from OS today do um whatever bug or glitch you may see it might be as a result of the fact that i'm a, I'm a developer channel and um just keep that in mind and they tend to be more glitches and bugs when you are uh, one of those unstable channels and that is squid squid for you next in line so let's see if we application is done installing but i'm still okay waiting for sketchbook to install here so while sketchbook con continues to install we will go ahead and check the next one on the line the squid is great for note taking and does everything wonderfully well. VLC is it's kind of like that on song EO that does it all but doesn't get as much praise as it as it deserves as it deserves. And that's a part of the one of the unfortunate things about the open source community. You can build something so great but it doesn't get the recognition that it deserves just because 
there was no there was not as much effort put into advertisement into it and that's something that the open source community has, has struggled with ever since this, its establishment a model for earning earning that basically motivates the developer to keep working on the platform whatever whatever it may be without them struggling financially with their basic with their basic um livelihood need for needs but anyway with that out of the way we can go ahead and try sketchbook now and see how it plays out except huh I didn't even realize that it had my brush data I, like I said I'd use it I, I figured that I'd used it sometime but I wasn't certain that I actually did use it on my on a system and actually installed it with my data etc so that I feel like it crashed just now so let's go ahead and open it again And there it is. Looks pretty great. You got a ton of pen options here and brush options here. That's what I spent on just professional tools for for those that know how to use them. This is not my fault, eh? And I'm gonna close out of it. Next in line is the is VLC. Like I said, VLC is that on Song Hero, and we can go ahead and open it VLC does it all and does it all pretty pretty well and there is no argument about that and that's the great thing about the open source community and of course it might have it's my it's my default media player on my system and does everything just as expected I have no reservation on on VLC, so you can close out of that. And what's the next? Spotify is basically the standard for music streaming. If you're the kind of person that likes to stream music, right, or likes to enjoy your music, stream your music on the go, then you can't go wrong with Spotify, especially if you're a student. Um, you will always find it beneficial especially for its low cost which is at which comes down to five dollars a month as at the time of this video provided your students and i think that does come with the benefit of ulu as well but you do your research don't take my word for it um with that out of the way next application on the on the list is microsoft outlook oh uh, email clients are always like you know basically the, the core of our work life at the center of our work life nowadays and that is absolutely normal normal considering that there's still the need for formality in the workplace and let's hope it stays that way um and microsoft's and microsoft's um outlook just so happens to be one of the major players when it comes to providing a, a rock solid client that does cater to the need of the majority of users irrespective of what their industry or their focus etc may, may be so to, uh, it's basically an application that works just across all platforms so i'm gonna go ahead and install it just to show you what it looks like and um with that out of the way incredible pro i believe i have this installed right now yes i do have it installed right now incredible pro is basically another graphic related app they can basically um no thanks we can always do that later and yes the advantage of this um incredible pro app is the fact that it works fluid fluidly with you know on on just about any chromebook that i've uh, i've tried it on i don't have my pen on me right now it's a little bit of a lag using my finger on the screen right now but it does work as expected actually better than the last time I tried it so yes Incredible Pro is there again as an alternative for those that care to um, explore it you can always follow our written guide to read more 
just to get more context on each application um and also like access the direct download links we also leave those download links down down below and of course slack slack is like basically that new kid on the block that has a lot going for it and it appears that slack is is holding on for its dear life especially with sharks like microsoft teams and google encroaching its territory slowly with their offers of you know the teams app and now that the team microsoft has made teams available on linux as well and the competition between both platforms is going to become fierce in the coming in the coming in the coming years and if, but but you can't deny the fact that slack remains undisputed the, the undisputed champion in this very specific space of corporate and professional corporate software that is essential for chat and keeping track with teams etc so of course yes slack is always going to be one of those essential applications that you just cannot get rid of and that takes us back to microsoft outlook yes and it works it works great uh from the, from the last time you know, i've always known it to work great and i have no reservation on microsoft outlook but um i do not use um email clients of this um from the from the android play store i prefer to use the web clients directly but with that out of the way the next thing online is um adobe illustrator draw so you talk about compass basically like you know coming from that place of mediocrity you know the association of mediocrity to a place of being regarded as something that can actually replace other systems for professional work for developers you know that create applications etc you can now see chromebooks as a viable option for their for their work you know, while accounting for other, for other key areas like security quick updates and general overall stability system stability and chrome OS has basically tick, ticked all those boxes but yes yeah, so unsurprisingly unsurprisingly we do have a adobe illustrator illustrator draw available as well while it might not be the full-blown thing as you have on the desktop counterpart the fact that they've actually taken a step to make it available on android right it's actually a very welcome move especially considering that the platform it's only but maturing out of pretty fast space and keeping up is not exactly easy especially when they do have to maintain packages for other platforms that are actually making money so the fact that they've actually taken the step to make it available in the first place it's a very welcome move um, and next next in line is one password so obviously you can always done like the the illustrator draw it appears that it's incompatible with my device that is unusual for whatever whatever happened um but i will revisit this personally as i intend to write a review and re um, re release a review video on it anyway and make it available to you to you guys the next item on the list is one password so one password i believe is available as both an android app and a chrome app or a chrome extension but let's look 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 that out by the way See what the downloads are available. Yeah, 
yes that's what i thought they do have a, a chrome extension available or an actual chrome app not even an extension it's an actual chrome app a full-fledged chrome app as it appears um and they also do have the android variant so that means you do have two options of install for the one password manager however do look out for a video on the uh, on um on the top password managers for for linux we'll leave a link, link to it in the description sometime later in the future otherwise follow the link to our tools playlist to find it and that's it for today guys you have your top 10 great android apps for a new chrome chromebook stay subscribed and hit the notification bell for more videos like this peace